What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button for me. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. Uh, there, this is going to be a two-part series. And uh, so if you want to see the second part to this, you're definitely going to want to be subscribed so you get notified. Uh, this video is going to be titled 10 Axis Style or Crossbar Style Locking Knives. And part one's going to have five. Part two is going to have five more. So let's jump right into it. Also, there's going to be something for every budget in this list. So uh, from more premium to very budgety. And the first one on the list is a very budget-friendly knife. This is the Ganzo Firebird F7601. These do come in different color G10, G10 scales. Obviously, this is the black version. Um, this is a larger knife. And... Uh, I've carried this knife a lot. I've had it for about a year now. Beat the crap out of it, and it has held up extremely well. Um, give you the specs on it real quick, and then we'll move on to our next knife. Overall length is 8.07 inches. Blade length is 3.42 inches. Blade material is 440C. It's a drop point blade with a flat grind. And the weight on this knife is 4.23 ounces. Um, Fantastic beater knife, guys. If you like axis style or crossbar style lock, locking knives, and you want a knife that you can just beat on and not have to worry about, $24, you can't go wrong with this knife. This is a fantastic knife. There's going to be another Ganzo later in the list also, but uh, this one's in part one. The next one will be in part two. They are great knives for the money. Hard to beat, actually. Next up on the list is going to be the opposite end of the spectrum. Uh, as far as materials and uh, price. This is the uh, Hogue Doug Ritter uh, RSK MK1-G2. Funky name, I know. Lots of letters and numbers. But this is a fantastic knife. Um, Doug Ritter actually designed the Griptilian and he left Bug Out and got Hogue to start making this design. It's a very similar knife to the... Uh, Griptilian, uh, although uh, there are some slight differences between the two, but it's very similar to a Griptilian. Fantastic ergos on this knife. Um, a larger knife. There is a mini version of this knife also that you can get. Uh, this one is, overall length is 8.15 inches. The blade length is 3.44 inches. Uh, this is a flat ground blade with and it's 20 CV blade still. The weight on this knife is 4.5 ounces. And they call their crossbar lock the Able Lock. And this is a fantastic knife. So buttery smooth. Um, compared to the Ganzo you just saw, this one is definitely smoother. But this one's $170. The Ganzo is $24. Um, this, is a, this would be a fantastic beater knife also. Uh, if it's in your budget to spend that much for a beater knife, I highly recommend it. And it's 100% made in the USA. All right, next up, one of my favorite uh, Axis style, crossbar style lock, locking knives. And uh, the cheapest one on the, on the list here for both videos. And this is the Sanranmu 7063. Uh, great little knife here. This is a smaller knife, but it's a great little knife. Um, aluminum scales, stainless steel liners, pocket clip, hardware. Uh, blade steel is 8CR14 MOV stainless steel. It does. It is a drop point blade with a hollow grind and a G10 backspacer. Fantastic action. Also makes a great sound. Ooh, missed it. Great, great sound on the open. I'm gonna stop t uh, talking and deploy it. It makes like a swoosh sound. Listen to this. Hopefully the mic picks it up. Yeah, very, very smooth action. Buttery smooth. This knife costs $20, guys. And you can get it in different colors. Blue, orange, bronze, or raw aluminum. All of them are aluminum scales. Um, absolutely love this little knife. Also, fits in the, fi the fifth pocket. Next up is the Terminus, or well, the SOG Terminus XR. Um... Great knife from SOG. Um, this one runs $75, has a flat grind, drop point blade, G10 with carbon fiber overlay, uh, stainless steel liners and pocket clip and hardware, S35 VM blade steel. The price on this one's $75. Overall length is seven inches. Blade length is three inches. Uh, the weight is 3.32 ounces. And it is, uh, 
has a very deep carry pocket clip. It carries extremely deep in the pocket. So if you don't like that, keep that in mind. Um, action on this is, is really good. Um, when I did my review of this knife, I talked bad about the thumb stud action. Figured out what that it was after talking to a friend. When I was holding the knife, my middle finger was touching the tab here, which was causing it not to deploy properly. Once I figured that out, I adjusted my grip, and now I have no problems at all with the thumb studs. Although, you know, thumb stud or the uh, the placement of the tabs for the the, the uh, stud deployment is not the best. I prefer to use the flipper on this. Great action, super smooth, good ergos. Uh, 75 bucks it's not a bad deal at all for this knife all right last up for part one is going to be a knife that should not surprise anyone is probably the most popular crossbar axis style lock out there locking knife out there and uh, the lightest weight knife on the list also the benchmade bug out I tell you guys, I know that these have gone up in price recently from $144 to $160. They come with grivery scales. Um, I've th these aren't the uh, original scales on here, but uh, even at $160, guys, 100% made in the USA. This is a great knife. It really is a great knife. If you want a knife that you can put in your pocket and not even realize you have it in your pocket, you can't beat a bug out. Very thin, very lightweight, super slicey blade. Very good action. You know, Benchmade is the OG of the crossbar style lock. It was theirs for many, many years until the patent ran out. Now everybody's using it. They're doing, everyone else is doing it for a reason because of how good it is. And Benchmade has got it dialed in. They are, they're fantastic. Give you the specs on this one real quick. Uh, blade length on this one's 3.25 inches. Overall length is 7.46 inches. Drop point blade with a flat grind. Weight is out of the box. If you don't change anything, the weight is uh, 1.85 ounces, under two ounces for a seven, seven and a half inch knife with a three and a quarter inch blade, which is, there's nothing, it, it's, I, I don't see anybody uh, coming close to that. I mean, I'm sure there are knives out there, but are they this good? I, I don't know. Um, I absolutely love the bug out. Have a couple, plan on getting another one. It's just such a great knife and it's one that you can customize and do whatever you want to do with it. There's endless aftermarket parts for it. So, all right guys, that's going to wrap up part one. Uh, let me know below uh, your favorite Axis crossbar style locking knife. Uh, I'd love to hear it. Uh, I'm sure there are many out there I've never touched that uh, you guys may be able to recommend for me to check out some more. Part two will be out within a week, and uh, it will include five more knives, and a couple of those may surprise you. So keep an eye out for that. I think you'll really like part two. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and make sure you subscribe so uh, you're notified when part two comes out if you're not subscribed already. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.